Jesus. My name is the bond servant of Christ, John. Saint of God to pioneer the gospel of sonship, incorruption, a custodian of the dimension of encounters, the reigns of glory, the reigns of teleportation, the reigns of ascension into the diverse cities of God's glory. The gateways of the soul will choice conscious emotion mind imagination and reason these are different entering points into the human soul do you know how to manage the gates of your soul now you're wondering why am i sick why am i confused why am i depressed why do i feel terrible why is life so difficult for me why is it that people don't like me why 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 you just live in pretentiousness sometimes you don't even know how to be in charge of your life the reason is because you, you have not learned how to understand and to control the gates of your soul now let's talk about imagination are you are you aren't you away that when you begin to think as you think as you think what you're thinking what you're thinking is going into your mind through the gate of your imaginations now that means i must be careful the imaginations of my mind because as i imagine i am creating the soul begins to create what you're imagining and the powers that are in your spirit will energize and produce what you are thinking thoughts and are not supposed to be taken lightly now the reason why many are sick is because what they have feared through their imaginations have come to manifestation now if you don't mind your thoughts your thoughts will create your future job said what i feared most had come upon me what I feared most have come upon me what I feared what was the fear the imaginations of his mind so he allowed the gate of his imagination to create the circumstance that embarrassed destroyed and messed up with his future so what do you do when Satan begins to throw and cast and project negative imaginations in your thoughts what do you do you cast it down in the name of jesus never let go of your thoughts just to pass on you know you say, ah, i just thought it I, i'm fine I no the moment you are thinking something that thing is being created and the bible says that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in every man so there is the power poised established to manifest your thoughts and this power is in every man now this power is not for only those that are born again it is the power of imagination what you think is created what you think goes into the future to wait for you so your thoughts are the mail you have sent to your future. So, and that goes into the future to create your incidents, accidents, circumstances, problems, successes, whatever. So sometimes, instead of allowing the devil to take advantage of the gateway of your imaginations to create disasters and tragedies, of your future why don't you use your imaginations to rectify your current situation do you know that emotion is the gate of power in your emotion hmm, can control your entire conducts your emotion can cause you to turn against your even father oh my goodness your emotion can cause you do things that by the time you're back to your senses you ask and say did i really do this oh, 
It means that if you don't let, if you don't let God control your emotions, you are going to be addicted to something. You're going to come under a certain spirit that will control your entire emotions. It is an overwhelming energy. Habits are sustained by uncontrollable emotions. When your emotions are uncontrollable, it will create a habit. That's why you can't help it. Once that emotion comes upon you, it overwhelms you. It doesn't matter how spiritual you are. You see yourself fall into that same sin again and again and again and again and again and again. You know why? Because you have allowed Satan to gain entrance through the gate of your emotion. The power that sustains a life that is lived in cycles is through the power of emotions. Once your emotion powers your choices, once your emotions power your reason or power your wrong position, it's over. It takes a long time to overcome anything that your emotions power. Amongst all the gate of the soul, Amongst all the seven gates of the soul, the one you ought to be very careful about is your urges, your emotions. Because your mind is released through your emotion. Mind, power. This man knows that what he's doing is wrong. So by choice, he doesn't want to do it. So the gate of choice doesn't want to do it. The gate of reason knows that he doesn't want to do it. Come and help me. Yes, sir. The gate of will doesn't want to do it. He knows. But because somebody else, Satan has control over the gate of his emotions. You see a man doing what he doesn't want to do. In, in fact, by the time he's done with it, he, he, you ask him, he said, I, I knew it was wrong. Stop it! In fact, Papa, if I do it again, let me die. Because now, this man has fed that action through that uncontrollable emotion. And in that moment, that action has been nourished and it's satisfied for the moment. So that emotion has come under a momentary satisfaction and control. So it's done. Eating what he took in. His senses has come back. So hard. I can't won't do it again. His reason has come back. His conscious has come back. He feels he's in control in that moment. <laughs> At a time, the emotion has finished the one he ate. And he wants another one. He will shoot his head over. <clears throat> the urge will come again. The reason we enter prison, the power of choice, we enter another cell. Every faculty of the soul will come under that emotion. You see the man doing the same thing, even much more. Then after he has done it again, he goes back again. Oh, make it so. <laughs> Let me tell you, you continue doing it until you know that you need deliverance. <laughs> if you are in such a condition, you need what? Deliverance. You can't help yourself.
Satan is targeting not just the power of your choice. All he wants is to cause you make a choice, a decision through the gate of your choice. Then he powers it habitually through your emotions. Emotion actually is energy. It's power. It has nothing to do. It powers the choice of your reasons. It powers the decisions of your choices. Look at all the faculties of the soul. What emotions does, emotions do, is to power it. To the degree your emotion powers any of those aspects of your soul, is to the degree it will live. We increase in spiritual ranks when we capture certain depths in the reins of your sin when we elevate into that encounter something is captured in the reins nobody enters the frequencies the electricity of zion and be the same your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality to get this message from the bond servant of christ john anosika kindly visit our website www.pastorjohndigitalmedia.com 